Steve, back to winning ways. Uh, it looked a bit dodgy at some point, though. 2-0 ahead to actually lose that 2-0 uh, lead to actually uh, come back to 2 at half-time. But a great game of football, but pleased with the players. Yeah, I've... Um I've been at the I've been at the club now, just over about, just about twenty months. Um, I've been in I've been in charge just over a year, <coughs> and I think we've had a lot of exciting games, especially here at Steel Park. And uh, today was no different. We've um, we've we've went two up, looking really comfortable. Everything's the shapes looking good to the squad, um, for the team, the the the, the, the way we're, we're, we're moving the ball about. The two goals we scored were excellent. And then we have a crazy, was it, was it even as long as 10 minutes, where we, we allow them back in, one from a set piece, which which is a shambles, um, and then just a kind of ball over the top. So, you know, you can you can approach that a couple of different ways in the second in the second half at, at half time, you know, and, and we kind of took the approach of, well, we're, we're still, still a draw here, we're still two each, and, and, and we're, you know, we're coming out the block second half, and... And we did, and we came out, and we done well second half, and, and I think we kind of controlled it. Uh, we got the goal uh, without with limited chances on both sides. I think we, we, we managed to get the goal, and we got over the line. And and that's the that you know if you want to talk about the, the monkey off the back or anything like that with the last the last two performances, um, that's us back to winning ways. And, and now hopefully we can we can build on that for next week. It is a very busy period coming up and uh, over the next month or so, so uh, it, it is getting back to winning ways, it is getting that confidence under your belt and actually returning to what was, uh, uh, Corby haven't gone bad overnight have they, they've always still going to be a great team. Yeah, we, we, you know we, we are a very good team, we're quite an exciting team and, and, and we've got to look at how we can how we can stop the silly mistakes happening because it, if you look at some of the goals we've, we've lost this year, you know, and some of the some of the games we should be keeping clean sheets in that that we've we've lost we've lost silly goals and we've we've we've, we've lost we've dropped points due to that. So yeah, we, it's something that we do need to address and we do need to look at. But yeah, going forward and and, and the way we move the ball and the goals we scored today were, were were terrific. You know, I mean, the three goals today were were absolutely brilliant. Three probably up there with three of the best goals we have scored all season. And and not worldy goals, just the way we moved the ball and and the the, the final pass into the into the. Uh, the boy that scored, uh, whether it was Elliot's into into Jordan Francis or or uh, was it was Crawford's into into Elliot and then Crawford again into Elliot. You know, the, the the final ball today was excellent. I thought I thought we'd done a lot lot better at that. I'm just a little bit disappointed with how we've defended, um, but it is getting it's moving forward in the right direction. And we're, we're we're definitely you know we've got another three points on the board and and, and that's that's what we're looking for. You had to rotate the squad again this afternoon and then use up all your substitutes. Any problems with fitness at the moment? Any injuries? Uh, no, not that I know of. I mean, I think Jordan Francis came off there with a sore back. Uh, I don't, I don't know what 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 extent that is to. So we'll, we'll we'll obviously have a little look at that over the next few days and, and see if there's any extent to that. But uh, hopefully, hopefully he's okay for the the Berkhamsted game next week. And of course, uh, as you mentioned, Berkhamsted next week. Um, it's, it's a bit of a distance to travel, but we shouldn't be worried about that. It's, it's only 70 miles down the road. And um, you've got the chance to actually carry on and, and build on this uh, on this victory this afternoon. It's another big, big, uh, big game for us, you know, away from home against one of the one of the top six. You know, that's that's it's it's one of the games that you need to go there, and you're, we're going to need to we're going to need to have a, a good performance. And that's why it was good to get the points on the board today because you know we've we've, we've Played against uh, a couple of teams there that, that I think will be up there at the top half um, of, the, of the, uh, the the league, you know, with through sports and team, um, and, and then we had to get back on it against a very well organised Aylesbury team who who can cause some problems and probably will cause some problems this year to some teams. So yeah, we're going into we're going into next week with our tails up. We're going in with with uh, three points behind us, and we've got to go there and, and, and now do a good job because it's an important December coming up where where we've got to stay on track. It is December next uh, Saturday, of course. It is the first. You've got six games in that month. It's going to be very busy indeed. You've got to make sure that all the players stay fit for that period. Well, you talk about you know the squad and and, and that, that that's when you've got six games in kind of four weeks that you've got to you've got to use your squad and you've got to be able to show everybody's buying into it and and I, I think this is where we are where we've been at and what we've done through the, the the first part of the season where we've had the togetherness and where we've been a real good squad uh, I think this hopefully will, will show in December where we are sticking together and I might need to rotate one or two players in and out and and, and it's the reaction off of that and, and, and that's that's using your squad and that's using everybody to their full capabilities and if we do that and we do it right I think we should have a good December. Appreciate it guys Steve, congratulations today. Cheers, thank you. Just just one more, it's been a 
bit of a hellacious week for the club with everything that's gone on uh, and everything like that. So how how satisfying, you know, ultimately you guys can have a control what happens on the pitch. So I mean, how satisfying for everyone who's been affected by that to get to get that win today? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it, you, you, can, you can it's a lows to the low to be honest with you. People people coming and and doing that to any any house business or or, or, or football club. I mean. We've we've got so many volunteers that, that spend hours upon hours uh, at this football club, and and, and get the, the likes of the the, the way that the, the stadium is and the pitch and and, and all that. And I mean uh, the way that everybody was down, you know, Monday Tuesday everybody was down, but the, the reaction we've had off of the the, the local community and the, the reaction we've had off of the football family round about is has been absolutely tremendous. And and you know that that's when everybody pulls together like that. You've you've you, you, you want to go and perform on the pitch for them, and I think I think we gave them a good game today to, to reward them from that. But you know the spirits were down this week because of it. But you know they've they've they've, they've, they've you know damaged damaged a few bits, and, and and what it does is is we've now got to go and repair that damage. You know I, I don't know what they what they've what they've got out of it to be honest with you, but the damage they've left behind them is is crucial to a football club like this. And and and, and if it hadn't been for for the the people that have came and, and, and helped and offering to help, then you know it would have been a, it would have been a bit of a struggle for us to be honest with you because it is thousands of pounds of damage. Um, but because we've had such good support and the support is still coming in, you know I, I've got to thank everybody for that because everybody's rallied round and, and helped the football club out. And, and from a manager's point of view, to see that coming in and to to to, to g on the boys, it's been absolutely tremendous. Perfect. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.